What's going on? How you doing? My name is David the Crook and today I'm going to show you how to mix your melodies and chords. So pretty much the main instrumentals, whether it be like the piano, is what we're going to be focusing on today. We're not going to worry about the drums. We're just going to be focusing on the melody and the chords. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button. So let's get into it. I have this beat here. I call it Grand Piano West just because I use a grand piano and it reminds me of like a West Coast beat. So I'm going to play probably just the beginning of it and then we'll get right into it. that's pretty much the beat right there so we're going to be mostly focusing on the chords and the melody so i ended up taking off all the plugins that are on the piano and we're just going to start from scratch so one of the first things i like to do is i like bussing everything to one specific fader so for example i'll grab all the pianos because i have three three pianos layered which is the first one is the grand piano and then i have this lead stacked up same chords And then I have a pad also stacked within the other two instruments. And then lastly, it's the melody, which is the same thing as a grand piano. So I like grabbing all those instruments and just pretty much bussing it to one specific fader. So pretty much I just bust it to bus one and then I grab all the drums and I bust it to another one and I grabbed 808. So pretty much the whole beat is controlled with three knobs, which is the pianos, the drums, and then the 808. But we're not going to worry about the other two. We're just going to be worrying about the pianos and how to mix the pianos. So one of the first things I like to do is I like leveling. So pretty much all I did was I lowered this lead and the pad lower just because the main focus and what I want people to hear the most is the grand piano. So that's why it's louder than everything else. But other than that, when it comes to mixing, it we're just going to mute these and we're going to focus on the main, main piano when it comes to mixing your instruments you just want to worry about the eq and compression other than that it's not really much to it so what i like doing is i like first thing i like doing is eqing so first thing i did is i cut out the low end so pretty much i'm cutting out the low end just to make room for the kick and the 808 but as you can tell i didn't cut everything out just because you kind of want that bass from the piano so when the chords hit you're hearing that bassness and the way i like mixing is i like using plugins that are going to add color to the piano they're going to give it this flavor this sound that i'm going for so i like using a lot of third party third party plugins another eq i'm going to be using is the eq4 so i'm going to turn the analog on i'm going to cut about 82 and i'm just going to be focusing on the the high mans and stuff like that so i'm going to boost i'm going to do a boost at around 10 15k And pretty much what that's going to do is that going to bring out some of those highs within the piano. And that's what you want when you're really hearing a piano. You're really going for those mid highs and highs. So that's why I'm boosting those certain frequencies. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another EQ. And that EQ is pretty much the SSL 
channel strip EQ. And the reason I'm using that one is for, like I said, that a certain sound that it gives it. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna cut some of that lows out. Probably about like 135. I'm gonna do a subtle compression, not too much, just because I don't like over compressing. It's easy to tell when you're compressing a piano. So I'm gonna do a very subtle compression. I'm gonna do a fast release, so probably about 15 millisecond release. I'm gonna do a two to one ratio, and I'm just gonna do a subtle compression. So as you could tell, the compression is very subtle. Not all of the chords, not like every hit with dun, 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 dun. Not all of those are getting compressed. It's just mostly the, the harsher ones, the ones that are a bit louder, just because I like having the dynamics within the instruments because it adds a lot of movement to the beat, just having the dynamics within it. Just because if you start squishing everything, you take the life out of the piano and you kind of don't want that, especially with this grand piano. You want to feel the piano. So I'm going to do a little bit more boosting, probably about 10K. So that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to really do to this piano. Now, next thing I'm going to do is bring in that lead. So when you're looking at this lead, you can tell most of the frequencies are within 200 and 5K. So that's what we're going to be focusing on the most. So I'm just going to cut everything out below. Because this is this is what we want to hear. I don't really care for the bass within this lead, just because we already have bass within the piano. So it's okay to cut that out, and just we're just gonna be focusing on that sound. The dun, this. And then I also cut off some of those highs just because I kind of don't want those highs yet. I'm just focusing mostly on the, the upper mids. So that's good like that. Now, next thing I'm going to do is add another EQ. Now, the next EQ I'm going to be using is a vintage EQ that's stock within Logic Pro, and that's the graphic EQ. And the reason I like adding this graphic EQ is for the pretty much the color that's going to give it and pretty much how everything's labeled here. You're able to really choose what frequencies you want boosted. So I'm going to be focusing on like 500, like pretty much these here, these one, two, three, four. So as you can tell, when I did those boosts on those frequencies, you could hear the piano a little bit more. And that's good because it's layered under the piano and you kind of want that. Pretty much the sound we're going for. It's not too noticeable, but it's there and it makes a difference. So if I were to single out just the piano and then add the lead. it adds like a thickness it adds a fullness to it so that's what we're going for and i'm not going to worry about compressing it just because i feel like you don't need to compress every sound kind of like hi-hats open hats and stuff like that i don't really compress it i'm not going to compress this lead it's just mostly for this grand piano just because it is the main piano i'm going to compress it so i'm just going to add this pad under it And I'm going to add an EQ. So 
So as you could tell, pretty much this pad is in the lower frequencies. So pretty much cutting out the low end from the lead and then from the piano, it makes room for this pad here. But you gotta be careful not to make it too loud because then it starts clashing with 808 in the kick. So you gotta be very careful with the frequencies you're letting in. So I ended up cutting about 80 and then to 540 here. So pretty much all I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna add a compressor which is a CLA2 compressor. And the reason I'm using this one is because this compressor really gives it this nice sound. It gives it a nice fullness, a thickness to the pad. So as you can tell, pretty much when I added this compressor to it, it did make it louder. So that's okay. That's, that's what we're going for. And it is doing a subtle compression to it. Pretty much with the melody, all I really do to the melody is because it is the same instrument as the grand piano. You kind of just do the same as you did to the main piano. So we don't need any of these lower frequencies just because all there is single notes. Dun, 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 dun. So we're just going to add the same plugins as we did from the grand piano, but just focus more on the upper frequencies. So for example, I'm going to boost about 15K. I'm not going to compress it. I could compress it, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just kind of boosting up those frequencies to get that brightness out of the piano. And like I said, I ended up busting everything to one bus, which is pretty much this one piano. And then to here, I ended up adding a little bit of this little radiator, which is pretty much a preamp. And what's it going to do? It's going to beef up the melody too. So it gives us this nice thickness, not just to one instrument, but to everything in, in general. So as you can tell, there's a nice blend within the grand, the grand piano, the lead, and then the pad. There's pretty much everything has its own space. And I know the grand piano has everything, and that's okay just because that is the main melody. That is the main chord, the main instrument pretty much of the whole beat. This pad, the, the lead pretty much has those mid, a little bit of the higher mid frequencies, and then the pad is just pretty much in the low end. If I was going to compress this, I would just use like a simple compressor, like a H compressor or something and just do like a subtle probably just three to one ratio I would add some punch to it I would do a little slower attack just because I kind of want the main transients of the piano so when it hits boom you hear it and you feel the piano and then it does the compression and I'll do like a quicker release just because when you're holding the piano notes down I don't want it to keep compressing that I kind of want it to let go of it So this is over compressing. So I can leave it like that, but so pretty much I just want a subtle compression. And if I wasn't going to use this, I normally don't use a compressor. Well, I do use a compressor, but one of my favorite go-to plugins is a plugin by SoftTubes, and that's pretty much Drawler S73. And the reason I like this, this is a mastering plugin, so it's an intelligent mastering processor, but I'm not mastering, so I still gonna, I'm still going to use it. So the reason I like this plugin, even though it is a mastering plugin, is because of these presets, pretty much the Clarity 1, 2, 
the neutral and the gentle compression it adds this dope fuller feeling to the instruments so i'm gonna show i'm gonna go through each one of them so you can really hear it so pretty much depending on what you're going for is the one i'm going to be using and i like neutral and clarity one so the hardest part of it is just choosing which one you want to use but i think i might just use clarity one i'm gonna add some air also so kind of boosts some of those upper frequencies so if you really hear the frequencies it gives it this nice fullness and that's pretty much all i do when it comes to mixing melodies and chords i like individually cutting out the frequencies and then boosting certain frequencies that it needs compressing the instruments that need to be compressed and then busting everything to one so make sure you level everything also support so, so like i said the grand piano is the main instrument that you want to be heard then it's a lead to give it that fullness and then the pad is pretty much in the bottom the melody sits on top you bust everything so if i want everything louder i'll just move this fader up if i want everything quieter i lower everything at once so pretty much you have a lot of control with just that one fader and then you have the drums and then the 808 so that's pretty much it that's how i like mixing my melodies and chords now if you want to get your song mixed and mastered by me or your beat mixed and mastered by me feel free to hit me up on my instagram or down below there's a link to my website that also this beat will be up on my website for purchase if you're looking to purchase beats now i want to remind you to hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and leave a comment telling me what other mixing tricks you would like to learn or if you would like to see me mix a specific instrument for example like a guitar ukulele anything like that drums 808s and you want me to show you the methods i use to mix and master feel free to leave it down below in the comment section i'll respond to you as soon as i can my name is david the crook and i hope to see you next time peace